All right, in this video, we're going to do a kind of quick start guide. So when you first get your new account set up and you just need to get in and create a tour, we're going to show you how easy that is to do. You can do it in just a few minutes. So when you first get logged in, you'll come up on your dashboard page here. And all you need to do to create a tour is click this Create Tour button. It'll bring up this box. You have to fill out the property information. I'll just let it autofill stuff here. Doesn't really matter for demonstration purposes. You need to fill out everything with a red star next to it, which is basically everything but the description here. And then you just click Create. And the tour is created. It will bring you right to this Media Manager page, and this is where you can start building your tour. This is where you upload your content, rearrange the order, etc. So to upload your content, all you need to do is, on your PC, open up your file manager, go find whatever you want to upload, and you can upload all scene types at the same time. You can do a full 360 pano, a video, a partial pano, a spherical pano, and a still image. This is basically most of the scenes types you can upload to a tour. You can do them all at once. If you select them, click and drag them right onto this page. And depending on your account type, if you're on credits, it will prompt you that it's going to use a credit do it to continue, yes, and it will start uploading and processing. So it'll go through the yellow, which is the uploading phase, and then it will go, you'll see a change to a blue progress bar, and this is actually where it's processing the, the image type, how it's going to process it as a pan or a still, etc. So while it's uploading and processing, you can actually start rearranging the order of the tour. You can do that by simply clicking a thumbnail and dragging it to whatever position you want it to play in. You can also hold down the control key and select multiple scenes. You'll see they get a little blue outline there. And then click and drag and you'll see it's got a number three there to show that you're going to be moving three scenes. And there you go. Those are all moved to a different order in the tour now. Uh, one other thing to note as you're uploading content, you'll see the scene type. This designates what the scene is. And if you're uploading many different kinds of scenes, if you're uploading stills and panos all at the same time, the system by default will try to determine what scene type it is based on its dimensions. And it will usually get them right, but if it doesn't for some reason, if it's, you know, you've got a still in here that's set as a partial pano, it's real easy to change. Um, these it got all right except for this 360. This is a full 360 pano, and it set it as a partial pano. All you need to do is set this drop down box, change it to whatever scene type it is. Then when you hit save, you'll see it will eventually go through and reprocess that image to be a full 360 cylindrical pano. So at this point, you have a basic tour. You've got content uploaded. Uh, you can view the tour if you hover over this top button here and view tour. The tour will start to load up. This is the loading screen here. Then it'll go to the home screen. It's got property information here. We haven't filled any out yet. And then it will start to play the tour. And you've got all our content down here. Here's an AstroZoom video. This is actually something you can order from us to put on a tour. It's a, a little video fly-in to the property, which is kind of cool. But at this point, you, you have a basic tour, and you can go through and add features as you want them. Uh, just make sure you save often as you make changes. Uh, we'll go through just a few of these additional services here that you might want to add to a tour. Uh, you've got staging. This is actually a, a separate site where you can go and add staging furniture, paintings, and stuff to your pictures. If you have uh, pictures of empty rooms, you can virtually stage them here, which is pretty cool. You can order a single property website that is a domain. So you could order, say, 400estatestreet.com and have it point to the tour, to a gallery page, or to some other site if you want. Uh, AstroZoom, that's that video that we just showed you in the tour there. 
you can order one of those to go on it. Uh, AudioPal, that is a text-to-speech program that, that's integrated with the, the software here that you can use background music narration. You can actually add narration using AudioPal. You just type in a box what you want it to say, and it will compile it into a, a voice that reads what you want it to say. So a couple other important things you might want to do to a tour. Uh, background music narration is one of the more popular ones. Quite easy to add music. You click in here. You've got a whole list here available. When you click on select one of these, it will start playing over here so you can hear it. And so you just find one that you want. And then update. And it's as easy as that. You've now got music on the tour. A um, couple other things is to note here. Property information. This is where you can come in, add a description, change the amenities, you know, bedrooms, bathrooms, price, square foot, all footage, all of that kind of stuff, which is quite handy. Um, and the last thing that's really important is the deliverables page. This is where all the tour links are. You've got your branded link and then your non-branded link. This is the one that you're generally going to want to use for your MLS listing. This is the non-branded tour link. And then you've got a bunch of other stuff here. Uh, flyers, gallery links. There's a whole lot here. You've got download links. This is all your tour media. You can have it either on a web page. You can download individual files or you can download them all at once in this file. And you've even got some HTML code if you want to post, you know, uh, play thumbs or something like that on a web page or even the tour itself. This is embed code to put the tour itself on a web page. So there's really a lot here. Um, and once you're all done with a tour, you make it active. You can actually do this at any time. It doesn't really, it, all it does is change it so the tour is viewable by anybody with the link. It, if you don't make the tour active, anybody with a link, they click it, they'll get a little error that says this tour is inactive, etc. And you can make them inactive and active as much as you want. It doesn't really matter. So that's really the basics of building a tour. Uh, there's a whole lot of other things you can do to a tour here. And to get details on those, if you want to add other things to it, if you click on Learning Center up here, this page has videos for basically anything you might ever want to do to a tour. It's got narration, video promotion. It's got all, pretty much videos on anything you might want to do. So if you want to add hotspots, something like that, you can come in here, find the hotspot editor, watch the short little video that, that shows you how. So this is a great resource if you want to, to get more in depth, add more features to your tour. That's a, a good spot to come. But that's as easy as it is to build a, a basic tour. only takes a few minutes and it's up and rolling.